Hi, I'm Mark Ryan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vertex AI, Generative AI, in the context of Google Cloud, Cloud Shell, along with Langchain, to explore time data datasets using simple English language commands. So we're going to go through to show how easy it is to use the Generative AI capabilities of Vertex AI, along with Langchain and the Langchain Pandas library to ask questions in natural language and get answers about a tabular data set. So let's start by taking a look at the Python file langchain pandas.py. So it's very simple. We import a series of libraries and then we have code that reads a YAML file and pulls in a set of parameters and this is what that YAML file looks like. So it just has two entries in it. The name of the CSV file that we're going to ingest into a pandas data frame along with a set of questions. And we can add extra questions here and they'll be, they'll be processed. So going back to the Python file, we take uh, the CSV file and we ingest it into a pandas data frame. So very standard there. And then we're going to use the standard pandas approach to answer a set of questions about the uh, file that we just ingested. So the shape, the number of rows and columns there are in it, the number of entries that have Manhattan as the neighborhood group. Uh, oh, by the way, this is a data set of Airbnb listings in New York City. And then we find out the number of columns that have missing values as well as a couple of ways of looking at, we want to see how many entries there are where the minimum number of nights you can book a listing for is one month. So we ask that question two different ways. So that should give us the baseline of what the answer should be. And then we get into the LLM portion of it. This is really, really simple. So we define the Langchain object. The LLM is Vertex AI. And we define an agent the uh, pandas data frame agent. And then all we need to do is go through one by one the questions that are in the, um, the config file. So these questions here, these, these five questions, iterate through them, we print out the question and then we run the question through the agent. So really, really simple. So let's see what this looks like when we actually run it. So first it prints out the answers for the standard values from the pandas library and then the answers for the LLM. Okay, there we go. So let's go back and just see first what does the what do the standard pandas answers tell us? So there are about 48,000 48895 um, entries in the data set. And we get the same answer. So down here, this is the answer that's coming from the LLM and it matches, which is great. So next, the number of entries that are in the Manhattan neighborhood group, uh, 21,661. And what does the LLM say? Same answer. Excellent. And then the number, the names of the columns that have missing values. So we see uh, the name of the listing, the host name, last review, reviews for months. So four columns, according to the standard pandas uh, query, have missing values. And we go down here and see what the LLM comes back with. And it's the same answer, which is great. Now, the last question is kind of tricky. And this is for, let's see, what do we, what do we ask the question for here? Uh, the number of listings have a minimum number of nights of 30 or more. So here it's saying there are 4,507. We go back up to here. So 4,507, that does agree. But let's ask the question maybe in a slightly more natural way and say the number of listings have a minimum, a minimum number of nights of 30 and we get 3760. And the answer is a little bit different here. Oh, it's 3760. All right. 
So what we're seeing here is the LLM is actually answering correctly for all of these questions. And what this means is we can use the LLM, we can use this really simple Python program to answer all kinds of questions about a tabular data set. So you don't need to know SQL, don't need to know pandas, you can just ask the questions in standard English and get answers about a tabular data set. In this video, you've seen how easy it is to use Vertex AI, Generative AI, along with Langchain and the Pandas library in Langchain to explore a tabular data set using simple English language statements. Thanks for watching.